hello beautiful people of the internet what's up it's your girl Keisha in today's video I'm gonna be talking about my experience with retinol as someone with combination sensitive acne prone skin on a darker skin complexion this video is gonna be a two-part video in this one, I'm going to be talking about more of my experience using it. And in the next one, I'm going to be talking about like my tips and tricks and, you know, different things that you may want to consider when you're choosing retinol. I felt like putting it together would make it a 45 minute video and anybody got time for that. So uh, let's just get into it. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha. I'm a skincare enthusiast and I post a lot of videos on skincare, makeup, hair, and lifestyle. If that is something that you are interested in, then make sure you are subscribed. Without further ado, Let's get started. I actually started using retinol in 2019. It would have been, I think around the summer when I started using. The first one that I used was the one from Biosons. So the first one that I ever used was a phytoretinol. So this is a plant derivative of retinol itself. Um, it's supposed to be more gentle on the skin. This one is the Biosons Squalane and Phytoretinol Serum for visible lines, wrinkles, so on and so forth. Please don't mind my nails. I just washed all my makeup brushes, so all my nail polish chipped. But anyways, this one is actually a quite interesting solution. Because like we said, this is a plant derivative. This is not real retinol. This is like a plant that mimics the effects that retinol gives on your skin. So you're gonna see some of that smoothness, some of that rapid skin cell turnover without some of the drying and negative effects of retinol. But this one specifically, you can wear in the morning and the night because it's not like actual retinol so it's not photosensitive or anything like that but this one I would say it is very very gentle but it has really great ingredients that I really enjoy so I use this in the morning and the night and I found that my skin was really smooth I really wish that I was able to try this consecutive for like a longer period of time because I remember in 2019 I was kind of using it on and off the reason being is because in November, I actually participated in an acne clinical trial, so I had to stop using all of my actives. So I, I wasn't using this consistently long enough to see the results that it's gonna give, because something like this is not that strong. It's, 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 it's just not. So it's gonna take a longer time for it to actually make a difference on your skin. And um, while I do enjoy this product, I personally did not use it consecutively long enough to really see great results. Um, but I did like it. I did like the fact that it was so lightweight on your skin. I put it as like a, a serum kind of, and then put my moisturizer on top, just because going into the winter, you're gonna need something thicker but I do really enjoy this product. It is a little bit pricey, so I'm sure that you can get one from The Ordinary that is a lot cheaper, but the difference is this one has a combination of really great ingredients in it, and the one from Ordinary may not, right? Because it's about the formulation that's in here, and I really did enjoy this formulation. I would repurchase this one. Of course, I did repurchase it, but anyways. After the clinical trial was over, in early 2020 is when I started taking vitamins for my skin, and the retinol that I decided to use at that time was the Drunk Elephant um, retinol. Do I still have it? This is the Drunk Elephant A Passiony Retinol Cream, 1% retinol. Um... When it comes to retinol, you do not need a lot of it to work, especially if it's something as strong as this. Now, I wish that I had waited to try this one um, because my skin purged very badly. And my skin is starting to react a little bit to the retinol. Now I did expect this because this is the strongest version of retinol I've ever used. It is a little bit dry, um, not to the point where it's scaling or anything like that, but you can see there's no shine on my skin even though I literally just moisturize. So I'm gonna go ahead and moisturize again. I have these tiny little irritation bumps everywhere. So I skipped yesterday and I'm going to skip today as well and you know, see what happens in the next four days or so and hope that these kind of heal. Once they do heal, then I'll reintroduce it again. But they always say that you're supposed to use it maybe once a week to start out, then maybe twice a week, so on and so forth. So this is once. <laughs> it's not red, it's not itchy, it doesn't hurt. It's just a little bit dry and obviously. All right, so guys, I just woke up and I think my skin has purged even more. Um, Y'all can see 
all this here. You can have little white bumps on the side too, white bumps. And especially along my forehead. But guys, this is purging. And the characteristic fact of it is one, I don't have any acne. Like my periods come in the next couple of days. I think I had these for the past three days. That has nothing to do with the retinol. If I was breaking out, it'd be red, it'd be splotchy, it'd be itchy. It would sting, it would hurt, but I haven't felt any of that. It's just these little comedones coming out. Every ounce of my being is telling me to stop using the retinol and just let my skin heal. As long as your skin is not getting irritated because of being vegan, go ahead and push through the perch. Push through the perch. So this is the fourth night and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it is stinging just a little bit. Just on this side right here, especially in this area, you guys can see it's a little bit red. Now the thing is, it doesn't look inflamed and, and stuff like that, but there is a little bit of redness coming on here. So I am just trying my best to be as positive as I possibly can and to hold steadfast until those days are there because I know that on the other end of the stick, there will be beauty awaiting us. And that is the goal. So, you guys, I'm about to take a shower and I'm just washing my face and I'm seeing my skin falling off. It is peeling now. This is all of my skin peelings. It's literally just falling off. My skin was not, you know, strong enough to handle this at the time. And it, it really just, irritated my skin so bad. Retinol is an irritating ingredient, so it's not uncommon that you're gonna get that. And I know that you're supposed to push through the purging, but it got to a point where my skin was red and itchy and it burning and it just I just could not do it anymore if your skin is feeling like that I was afraid of getting more um, hyperpigmentation from the irritation that was on my skin so at that point I just I, I just decided to stop so after my skin cooled down I still wanted to try retinol because I know it's a really good um, solution for people with acne prone skin and I was actually gifted the Notorium serum so she did have a retinol in there as well it was a beautiful serum now I talked about the serum already in a dedicated video so click up there to get more information but I really did enjoy how it worked on my skin this retinol was not as strong as the drunk elephant one and it was really gentle I did not experience any weird like burning any itching anything like that I did purge twice but it wasn't near as bad as when I tried the retinol from Drunk Elephant. My face looked so smooth. I was shocked at how smooth my skin was because I hadn't seen my skin do that in a very, very long time. But I really enjoyed using that one specifically. It does have like the encapsulated time releasers of the ingredients, so it's supposed to be better for, you know, not being too um, abrasive on your skin and it's gonna just slowly release, slowly disperse the product, the, the ingredients into your skin um, to avoid any irritation or any stinging anything like that and last but not least after that bottle was done I did want to then try a retinol that was a little bit stronger not too strong so I didn't want to go straight to like tetranoin or something like that so I started the La Roche Posay Effaclar Adapalene 0.1% so obviously this was 1% way too high this is 0.1% um, and this is their acne treatment for this one specifically, it is a gel rather than being a cream like the other products. So the way that I use this is I started, you know, easing my way into it. So I would put on my whole routine, typically just like really calming ingredients, never any like actives with this. I use this by itself. So I put on my serums, put on my hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, so on and so forth, put on my moisturizer, and then I put this on top. For, for the first week, I did it once a week. The second week, two times a week, three times a week, up until I can use it 
for five days in a row. And that is where you're really gonna get the most out of your retinol if you're using it for five days out of the week. Um, still be gentle with it, and if you feel like your skin is getting irritated, then ease back. But I really do like this a lot. I think my skin has truly benefited from this. Obviously, like my skin still looks really good. I never really realized just how sensitive my skin was until recently. So right away, my skin is feeling kind of dry. So I'm just gonna put a thick layer of moisture on my skin and then a little bit of oil and I'm gonna go to bed. So today my nose is peeling. All right, friends, so today is November 17th. My skin is starting to peel. Can y'all see this peeling action right here and on my nose? Uh-huh. I'm just going to skip <laughs> retinol tonight and just put on a really thick moisturizer. Um, but yeah, my skin is feeling really soft. It's feeling really clear and it looks very nice as well there is like a little white head there but other than that we look good i'm happy <laughs> that this is my favorite one of all the ones that I've tried um, so far, now that my skin has a bigger tolerance towards retinol. Um, but yeah, that is, is kind of my experience. You will see a bit of peeling. Um, retinol is a very, very drying ingredient, so you might see a bit of peeling. Um, but it will, it will get better. It definitely will get better. And I'm so happy that I was able to see it get better as well. Before I end this video, I did want to mention um, the reason why I wanted to take the time and just show the footage of this video is because I got a couple questions asking like what does purging look like versus what does acne look like. So hopefully you guys can see that for me at least when I started purging the way that I knew that it was different was that the skin itself looked irritated. The skin looked irritated. The skin looked red rather than having like actual pimples. You may still break out when you're purging but the best way to you know make that differentiation is to show you guys so i find that adult acne comes around when your hormones start changing so if you're a woman and you have menstrual cycles as you're ovulating is when you're going to start breaking out and then it kind of dies down a little bit but purging is different purging won't come on like a, a cycle purging you'll get a lot of breakouts all of a sudden then but the thing is the pimples will go away really fast like you'll have a pimple today in two days it'll be gone but you'll have an, another one popping up over and over and over and then eventually it will just stop with hormonal acne it will just be on your face and last for a bit of time right that's what i've noticed at least more tips and tricks to come in the next video. Thank you so much for watching to the end of this video and leave your questions down below so when I do film the next video, which I should be doing by the end of this week, um, I can include those questions in it. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.